Anemia of chronic disease, ACD, also known as anemia of inflammation, is a type of anemia that is associated with chronic inflammatory conditions or certain chronic diseases. Unlike some other types of anemia, ACD is typically characterized by a mild to moderate decrease in red blood cell count and hemoglobin levels. It is considered a secondary form of anemia, meaning it is a result of an underlying medical condition rather than a primary disorder of the blood or bone marrow. The symptoms of anemia of chronic disease, ACD, are often mild and may be overshadowed by the signs and symptoms of the underlying chronic condition causing the anemia. Common symptoms of ACD may include Fatigue, generalized weakness and a feeling of tiredness are common symptoms of anemia, including ACD. Pale skin, anemia can lead to a reduction in the number of red blood cells and a decrease in hemoglobin levels, resulting in paleness of the skin. Shortness of breath, reduced oxygen-carrying capacity of the blood may lead to shortness of breath, especially during physical activity. Weakness, anemia can cause a general sense of weakness and decreased stamina. Dizziness or lightheadedness, inadequate oxygen supply to the body's tissues, including the brain, may lead to dizziness or lightheadedness. Headache, some individuals with anemia may experience headaches, particularly if the anemia is severe. Cold hands and feet, poor circulation associated with anemia can lead to a sensation of coldness in the extremities. Cognitive impairment, in some cases, anemia may be associated with difficulties in concentration and cognitive function. Anemia of chronic disease, ACD, is caused by underlying chronic inflammatory conditions or diseases. The exact mechanisms leading to ACD are complex and involve interactions between the immune system, inflammatory processes, and the regulation of iron metabolism. Here are some key factors and pathways contributing to the development of anemia of chronic disease. Inflammatory cytokines. Chronic inflammatory conditions stimulate the release of pro-inflammatory cytokines such as interleukin-6, IL-6, and tumor necrosis factor alpha, TNF-alpha. These cytokines play a central role in the inflammatory response but can also interfere with the normal production and function of red blood cells. Hepcidin regulation. Hepcidin is a hormone produced by the liver that regulates iron homeostasis. In the presence of inflammation, increased levels of hepcidin are often observed. Hepcidin acts to limit the absorption of iron from the gut and promotes the sequestration of iron in storage sites, reducing the availability of iron for erythropoiesis, the production of red blood cells. Rheumatoid arthritis, an autoimmune inflammatory joint disorder. Chronic infections, conditions such as chronic bacterial or viral infections, like tuberculosis or HIV. Autoimmune diseases, disorders where the immune system attacks the body's own tissues, such as lupus. Inflammatory bowel diseases, IBD conditions like Crohn's disease and ulcerative colitis that involve chronic inflammation of the gastrointestinal tract. Certain cancers, some cancers, especially those associated with chronic inflammation, can contribute to ACD.